Hey, welcome to Supercharged Fridays. My name is Sonal Behel, career strategist. And if this is your first time, come in the comments and tell us where you're joining us from. If you've been with us before, warm welcome. Come in the comments anyway and say, hi, how's it going? And we are sitting at, what is it now? 86 weeks. It's going to be 90. It's going to be 100. My goodness, 2021 is flying. I'm here to help you. We can have a little chat. I think I'm going to be live for maybe 20, 30 minutes. That's what I always think. And um, it never happens. So while we wait for the notification to go out, in the meantime, if you're watching me, let me know in the comments that you can hear me properly. I'm guessing you can see me, but let me know about the audio. I've done a little change. Uh, there's a fan on next to me, and I don't know if this is bothering you. Is my voice clear? Because if it's not, I can turn the fan off. It's a warm day here, but uh, you know, it's all right, not a problem. Um, if I don't see comments, I get a little worried that um, there's something wrong with the technology. So I have a little sympathy for a girl. Um, is everything all right, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook? Because I should be live on all three. It says so. Um, but yeah, I don't know till I don't know. Okay, Padresh, thank you. Appreciate that. And yeah, I also told my Indian friends watching around the world, Ganpati Baba Moria, in case you're wondering what the heck I just said, this is uh, Lord Ganesha's birthday. It's kind of a big deal. Um, it's a big holiday for uh, most Indians around the world. So if this is something you practice, um, yeah, I hope you have a good day. So uh, we are here to talk about job search. So I'm actually here for you and for your questions. I released a video on YouTube yesterday, which was all about how to land the right role fast, not like any job, but the right job. So I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if you have questions, but my idea today was to go through them um, with you together. But if there is something in the meantime that's bothering you a little bit, feel free to, you know, put it in the comments because this is what I'm here for. It's open office hours here on Supercharged Fridays and I'm here for you. But if I don't have questions, then I might just, you know, hang out for a few minutes and then um, disappear. So let me know about that. Hi to old friends and new joining us. Um, during gorgeous uh, September weather, Nigel in the UK. Um, Sohail, hi there. How do you get position abroad? It's a good question, Sohail. I don't know if you've asked this before because I've answered this a few times. I'm going to go with three things you can do, all right? Number one is see if you can find an opportunity within your same organization. It's much, much easier when you're already employed and within the same organization, they have openings outside. There is almost no friction except paperwork, visas, which the company handles themselves. So that would be the best way. If you don't have a job, then it's the hardest thing to do. I would say get something first, particularly in uh, companies where they have um, opportunities to send you abroad as an expat. The second thing is applying from your home country to a job abroad. Yes, you can do that. But I think like that is the one that will give you the least um desirable outcomes because why will they hire you when they can get maybe the same skill set locally right you need to have something and that is my third using your network and using um taking advantage of uh, all the right people you know showcase how you bring in a certain skill set which is unique and different and that will help you uh, to stand out and the fourth one which is actually my um um favorite one is to study abroad that's what i did um, uh, there's a fifth one, which is get married to someone with whom, you know, there is an opportunity. If you can do that, that's fine. But um, get married or be in a relationship. But studying abroad is very promising. You get more assimilated in the local culture. And then the chances of you being employed locally are much higher as well. So I hope that helps. All right. Let's see. What else? Uh, not that late. Not that late. Good morning to Esther. And Kishori Lal, while salary in uh, undergoing salary negotiation, shall I share my current salary when, uh, when asked? Does it give the wrong impression? So uh, Kishori Lal, definitely watch a video of mine, which is on YouTube, which is related to the question, what are your salary expectations? And that will help you with this question. Now, if they ask you to share your current salary, and if you don't feel comfortable sharing it, you can say, I'm 
you know, you'll have to deflect it. So I highly recommend you check that video. And another thing you do is check another video. I have a whole live stream on salary negotiation. And I answered this in the live stream with somebody who's actually the editor of LinkedIn News. And we had a live conversation about it. And long story short, what I say is, ask them if you can find out a little bit more about their budget. Now, not all HR likes this type of answer. They want to know an answer. If you feel comfortable sharing, share it. If you don't, then you'll have to use some of the techniques that I talk about in that live stream. So hopefully that helps you. Um, all right, what else? Hey, Saurabh, how can one make a career transition into different roles? So there's no short answer here, right? You have to go through the journey. I have a very detailed video with seven steps that I think are worth checking out. Um, it's called how to change your career. So I suggest you go there, go there, study it a little bit from the outside. But also at the same time, I would say you, you want to test the waters. And one great way to test the waters is volunteering your time in that desirable career so that you can actually get a good idea if you like it or not. A lot of people have said they've done this and they realized actually the career they wanted, it turned out they didn't like it. But if they hadn't given it a shot first, they would have regretted it later. Right. That's one um, thing that I can recommend to you. Um, so before I go deeper in the questions, I also want to say uh, very quickly for anyone who's interested, uh, if this person, if you are active in your career transition and you need help, I'm starting a group on Monday. I announced this a few days ago. I have only two spots available. I'm very picky about who I work with, and the details are, um, you know, in this link, and you can check it out. So Monday, 13th of September is when I start, and it's only available to five people. And if this is something you think you'd be interested in, check out this link, go in and apply, write me an email, and I'll see if you are a fit or not. And then um, we can um, take it from there. All right. I hope that helps you. Uh, Saurabh, how to handle group discussions in teams? Group discussions in teams. Bharat, can you be a little bit more specific about what this means? Are you talking about like during job interviews with business schools where they put you in a in a group? Because I don't know what this means. It could also be, you know, at the workplace, um, a general group discussion. I think my answer would vary depending on where you're going with this. Hi, Iris. What kind? <laughs> I have my Indian masala chai. That's what makes me happy, and that's what I'm drinking. As you can see, I have a gigantic cup. No cup is big enough. <laughs> um, without losing your tenure, yeah, realistic goals, yes. But there's a there's a there's a fine balance between too much reality. You also need to dream a little bit and manifest those dreams and make them come true. Yes, you need to be realistic, but I don't like people who are too cynical because that also is like lacking inspiration, right? Uh, don't worry about having a break uh, of five years, CS. Don't worry about it. Watch this video I did two weeks ago on can I negotiate a salary, uh, my salary if I am unemployed, if I am a fresh graduate, if I have been on a sabbatical, if I, oh, if, 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 don't care. What you need to showcase is your value and how do you solve their problems? Focus on that. Focus on the right things. Don't focus on what's holding you, what you think is holding you back. Because if you focus on that, you're not going to get what you want. I have detailed steps in that video, uh, which I think you'll find useful. So definitely check it out. Lovely that you guys are here. I'm so happy you're here considering it's Ganesh Chaturthi. So uh, particularly for my Indian friends. Um, all right. And please don't repeat your questions because then I get like flooded and then I can't answer them. How do you negotiate during an appraisal discussion? Juhi, that's a great question. Um, this is also something I've answered in detail in a lot of live streams. So I'm going to tell you very quickly, you want to make sure that you have a little brag file, a little, I call it appreciation station with all the things, emails, you know, projects, public appreciation you've received. And when the time is right, which is a performance appraisal, you want to bring this up and showcase what you've done and be proud of it. You're not begging, you're not bragging. You're just showcasing the facts because this is one way to uh, showcase your value and there's nothing wrong with it. You're not blowing your own trumpet, etc. because if you don't, no one else will. And, and sometimes people in companies at senior levels, they need to be reminded they're busy fighting fires. So I would say do that. And, and um, you know, if it works out, great. If it doesn't work out, ask for timeline. 
so that they know you're serious. All right. How do you transition from technical to management role? Same uh, answer to watching that video, because at the end of the day, it's a career transition as well. And also one of my favorite tips, uh, Kishori Lal, is speak with people who are in positions you'd love to be in. Seek their advice. Ask very specific questions. Don't ask for something general. I, I need one hour of your time to chit chat about career. I mean, I know that I, I'm exaggerating. Nobody has that kind of time. Say 20 minutes and I want to focus on this aspect. Can you please help me? All right. Shobha, how long should we wait before hearing back? Um, HR um, very frequently, Shobha, depends on hiring managers and sometimes senior management to come back with their decision. So a lot of people think that the bottleneck is sitting there. It's not always true, but I would say um, my golden rule is one follow-up email or call every week for three weeks. And then if you don't hear back, leave it. Don't have too many hopes. Move on. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Have other conversations as well. There are sometimes things that are happening that are beyond their control or your control, right? How do I ask my partner for a secondment uh, internal transfer? When I hear Vipin partner, I'm guessing it's the, the firm partner, not your <laughs> domestic partner. Just ask, ask, but why should they why should they select you? Instead of focusing on you, why should they select you? Focus on what you can do for them instead. It's the equivalent of asking for a promotion. All right. Um, you're welcome. How do I improve my English? Um, that's a great question. Um, crush tech. Um, I'm going to tell you about what I did when I moved to South America and I started with zero Spanish. You can at least write, right? I started with nothing. So I became fluent in one year. And why is that? Uh, number one, I love languages. So if you love languages, you love English, you will have more curiosity to learn. Number two, you have to enroll in classes. I think there are no shortcuts. Yes, you can take apps and all of that. If that works for you, that's great. I liked the environment. Now with COVID, it may not be possible, but we live in an inter internet world, which was not as common in 2005, right? So there may be Zoom classes or whatever. I highly, highly recommend joining a group because you learn, your ears learn a new language a lot better when you're in a group compared to when you're one-on-one. -on -one. Number three, for fun, for pleasure, whatever it is you watch on TV or the radio, you, you make sure it's in the language. So if you're Indian, for example, and you're only watching Hindi movies, watch them with English subtitles. Highly recommend that you watch English movies as well with English subtitles. That's what I did with my Spanish. And I went, and the radio, news, I was obsessed. I was, it wasn't like I was trying too hard. It was just, I was surrounded by it. So that helps. And if you're in a country where people speak English, take advantage of that and do that. So hopefully that helps you. All the best. Hey, Aman, how do we ask uh, for a permanent work from home? Oh, good goodness. Uh, this is a very relevant question. I think that, see, I don't have experience with this. So I'll tell you what I would do if I were in your situation. Um, you've got to show them what's in it for them. Because otherwise, it's like, give me, give me. This is all about me. And it's not just about you, right? It's also about the company. Uh, I would actually make a case. I would make a case that it's actually in the company's benefit and maybe do an analysis that they actually save financially as well. Um, and be careful. Be careful. That's one more thing I will say, because if you have made up your mind that you want to work from home 100%, remember there's certain sacrifices you might need to make, you know, not having in-person contact, etc. So I would say, firstly, be very crystal clear why you want to do it. You know, is it a temporary arrangement or is it permanent? Because permanent is a very strong word. Right. So I would make a case on it. I mean, it's possible. And if they say no, it's it's a no. But I want you to make sure you give it your best shot. Don't just approach out of the blue. And another question somebody asked Vipin, um, if you're still here, tell me you're still here. One thing that really helps is uh, timing, good timing. For example, the company has just come out with positive financial results. You're like, hey, you know, then you can be like chit chat. You're you know having a a tea or a beer with your boss, that's a great time to come up with something. People are in a very good mood. People are in a much more giving mood as opposed to a stressful period. Yeah, if you have kids, you're, 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 you're in bad, like, you know, bad mood. You're working on a deadline and the kid keeps coming. Can I have this? And I'm like, sure. You don't mean to yell at them. It just happens. So timing is everything. All right. Um, 
Kishori Lal, I'll come to you in a little while because I want to give others a chance as well. My fellow coach here, who's a heck of a lot more experience, says, for everyone thinking about career transition, I would highly recommend you to read what got you here won't get you there. You can always trust on my academically inclined friend to come up with real world solutions as well. He's a library of books. So if you have questions, put it in the chat for Risto as well. He'll, he'll um, help you out. Vijay says, how do you deal with the offer you receive when the package is not aligned? Um, oh, you're getting ghosted. That's so weird because if they want you, then they would bend over backwards to ensure that you've received it and you're happy. I would say just continue to follow up and, and watch my salary negotiation video that has all the tips and tricks and strategies that you need, um, but follow up with them. You know, it could be give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the person's been on holiday or unwell or whatever. Um, but it's a bit strange that they have made you an offer and yet ghosted you. You know what I mean? Um, all right. Hey there. What do you expect in a skills interview in the first round and HR is not involved? So that typically tends to be technical in nature. What they want to know is the hard skills. Can you do the job? So don't be intimidated by the word hard there's nothing hard about it those are things you already know right so it could be coding it could be it's all those things that are teachable and you have learned them whether it's in a university a course um or even on the job so those i don't know which skills are because that depends on the job that you have um applied to all right let's see what else hey anand uh for a position there are 100 or 500 people applying for the same job yes does HR screen all resumes? The good HR? Yes. What you want to do is you want to make sure that your resume is highly customized to the position. Because if you use their language and use the same words, they're called key words, then your chances of coming up in the top 20 and top 30 are much higher. And they have an applicant tracking system in place. And that also makes sure it's done. The sorting is done. Um, to help because when you have these volumes, you can imagine the recruiter, the amount of workload they have. So these applicant tracking systems are there to help them and to make them more productive. Um, but does it make every single decision for every single resume? No, it doesn't. It is supposed to be seen by human eyes as well. And you increase your chance of getting them seen by doing what I just asked you, or what I just um, suggested that you do. Are negotiations necessary? If you want to negotiate, sure. If you don't, don't do it. No, nothing is necessary. <laughs> hey, Rakshit. Yay, congratulations. I get so many messages every single day. I'm very happy for you that this worked out. Congratulations. Bharat as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good morning, Lee, my friend in Baltimore. How are you doing? Hi, Devya. I'm not quite sure I got the question. You might have to rewrite it. Safra. Hello. Is it okay to mention that someone is under medication due to a chemical imbalance? Someone meaning you? Can you explain? Doctor will stop the medication soon. This is in order to negotiate working time. Does it affect the working time, Safra? First of all, I need to know that. Does it affect the working time? Because I think this might be in the oversharing neighborhood. It's your choice. I personally don't think it's anyone's business, provided it is not going to impact your work. It's a personal choice. And if you feel comfortable because you've had a good experience with um, these people, if you want, mention it. But I still think it's oversharing. And if you are negotiating working time, then I'm guessing it does impact. You can say that it's for a certain period. You can if you want to. And you don't have to say chemical imbalance. You don't have to go into details. I wouldn't. That's what I call TMI, too much information. Good luck. Good morning, Noel. Hey, Hassan. Does applying for another position in the same company where one works give a negative impression about your... No. No. If you're interested, if you're ambitious, that's what I call... Uh, that's what not I call. <laughs> that's what we call in... Uh, the corporate world, high potential. High potential are people who are very hungry, very ambitious, high performance, high potential, and easily bored. And they need to do other things. And they end up becoming really good at senior management roles. Because senior management, you do a bit of this and you do a bit of that. So 
I wouldn't say it's anything wrong. If your boss thinks there's something wrong, then uh, I don't know. Hey, Rahul, I've done an MBA in finance, and I want to start a career in sales and marketing for the next 15 years. Um, question. I need a question. So tell me, this is the thing. Do I do A or do I do B? I'd like you to put it that way. Okay. I'm going to write it down because I think we need to learn the art of questions. Um, in the meantime, I will see um, the other comments as well. But I want to uh, make sure that you understand this because I think this is a great way to ask a questions. So I, my coach uses this and I love it. I need help with attack. Should I A option A or option B? Okay, ask me in this way. I need help with this. Should I do option A or should I do? option B. If you could ask me this, it would um, help a lot. It would help others. They will learn from you. And of course, you it will help you as well. All right. All right. All right. Do avoid repeating questions, please. Uh... Hi, Namrita. So during interviews, I feel so nervous. Yes, yes, yes. Confidence comes from practice, practice, practice. The entire thing, the entire questions, answers. Watch all my videos on top five interview questions. Practice. When you practice, you become good at it. When you become good at it, you become more confident. So um, that is for sure. And the other thing that happens when you become uh, good at it is competence. You become competent. And competence feeds confidence and confidence feeds competence. It's actually a vicious circle. So it's a long, short answer. There's a lot more detail in other live streams where I've talked about this. And anyone else who has tips for Namrata, feel free to check it out. And Kishori Lal, I see that you've asked other questions as well. There's another book that uh, is highly recommended. Uh, Erminia Ibarra's is excellent. I need to understand it, Juhi, you need to ask clear questions. So please ask in this particular way. I need help with so-and-so. Should I do option A or should I do option B, right? Let's go with that. Um, what do you suggest for overseas opportunities? I don't know which ones. I can't comment on that, Rahul. It's the one that you feel you have clear interest in. All right, I have two offers to choose from. One is a large MNC, whereas the other one is mid-scale, medium company. In the MNC, the multinational company, the pay will be equal to the offer from the small company after one and a half years. I'm totally confused. What do you want? Deepak, what do you want? I know deep down you know what you want. And you don't necessarily need to go on the internet and ask a total stranger, which is the one which is more juicy for you, where you can learn more. Money follows all that. Money follows joy. Money follows being good at what you do. But I feel like Personally speaking, this is my experience. When I chase money, I'm not really happy. So it's very personal. It's up to you. You know, I have a feeling you know what you want to do. How do you manage conflict when you are the boss? Oh, that's a hard one. <sighs> you, you need to see, is it really a conflict or is it your like perception you know, of what's going on? You need to have conversations in private with the perpetrators, right? each of them, and, and figure out what's going on. Perpetrator is the wrong word. With um, the people involved in the conflict. Um, and there's a lot of articles and books and, and things you can, you can check out. But I would say nothing beats one-on-one -on -one conversations. They are uncomfortable, but you need to have them. Because if you don't have them, you will not understand the root. And you can only understand the root of the onion when you have peeled the onion. <laughs> So I would say there's no substitute for communication, conversations, right? Hi, Jitender. I've just relocated back to India after six, six years in Malaysia. Uh, I'm getting a lot of calls. Okay. But uh, after having the first round, they don't come back. The first question everyone asks is about salary expectations. They might be thinking you're very expensive. So I highly recommend that you check out my, sal my video on salary expectations, which is more focused on your 
value that will help you so good luck with that welcome back to india all right um let's see what else I'm not going to be able to help you if I have mysterious questions. I'm sorry about that. Hey, Devya, I've gone through multiple interviews, three rounds. However, even though they say they love me, they end up selecting someone more technical. Devya, this is very painful, right? It's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a painful truth, uh, like a pill, truthful pill to swallow because something wasn't right. If they loved you, they would have hired you right once they can say yeah we actually did love you but someone else was more suitable but if that if that's been happening many times then you want to find out why so do do um chase them a little bit for feedback you like and what read my read my linkedin post from two days ago where i talked about the power of staying in touch and saying thank you even if you're rejected saying thank you i understand that and ask for feedback if you don't get feedback you will never know what you did wrong and if you get the feedback, then work hard on it. And if you don't get feedback, do mock interviews and prepare with someone. If you can afford it, get a coach. Otherwise, ton of free information on YouTube, including on my channel, which will help you to understand a little bit better. Um, all right. It doesn't matter who you negotiate with. See the videos on salary negotiations, Santosh. They'll help you for sure. Hey, Vipin, I'm, on, I'm in one of the big fours and I'm looking for opportunities um, by way of internal transfer. Uh, it depends on how you approach it. If you approach it with an open, um, you know, that your boss is aware of it. You know, you're not hiding, you're not sneaking around. It's totally up to you. And communication is very important. Staying in touch with your boss is very important. Your boss, your HR, your boss's boss also sometimes, right? And they should be aware that you're looking around because if they're not, it's going to result in some bad blood, which you don't want. Hey, Azad, uh, I could have asked for more. Oh, it's a, it's a horrible feeling. After you've asked, after you've been given an offer after negotiation and you've signed it, I wouldn't ask, personally speaking. But if you haven't signed, you could. You could. Yeah, conflict is a big one. So I just answered something that I think will help you. Will you be making any videos in the field of architecture? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not my area of specialty. You need to maybe see someone who's a specialist in that. My videos are more gen uh, general in nature. Uh, Ayub, last three years I've been working in a big company. I want to move to another company to get a good salary. Um, yeah, watch my videos on, because it's a very generic, que general question and it's a very huge question. I wouldn't know where to start. So, it, you know, it's, I have like a whole playlist on how to get a job fast. So. Check that out. You need to know yourself first. You need to know your strengths. Then you need to know who do you know and resume, LinkedIn, etc. So, hey, Anand, I'm a law grad. Uh, how does HR see the legal profile? I don't know. How does HR see any profile? And why doesn't, I don't know why it matters. <laughs> uh, yay, congrats, Kostov. I'm very happy for you. I get these messages all the time. And frankly speaking, they make my day. Um, Santosh, I'm loving these messages that people are getting multiple offers. Firstly, please understand, Santosh, this is a good problem to have. First of all, please, gratitude, right? Um, yes, you can negotiate with the first one if you have not already signed it. If you've signed it, you can ask, but I would not, as HR, like it if you've already signed because if you're going back on your word, you don't come across as someone who's trustworthy. What do you want? Do you want the one with more money or do you want the first one? Don't regret things in life, man. Take whatever you, life is too short. It's your decision. It's not about being confused. It's about what do you want? And if you don't know what you want, dig deeper. Because I think you do. Chandra Shekhar, how do you respond positively when you don't know something? Just say you don't know. Say you don't know. Don't BS. Say you don't know and say, I'll find out. I'll learn and I'll come back to you. Do that. That would be my um, suggestion. Hey, I'm back every I'm every week, huh, Stuti? <laughs> 86 weeks now. Uh, so I, I'm guessing you missed me. How important is it to have videos uploaded to your coach profile? I'm camera shy. Um, you know, Stuti, it's not necessary. I don't know. I mean, people have this whole, oh, you have to be on video. It increases trust. I think it does increase trust. But not everybody wants to do video. Not everyone's good on video. Just like, for example, I have a friend who's a coach who's not a great writer, but she is 
very lively on Instagram. So everyone has their own strengths. And I would say tap into what you already have, which is strong. And as a fellow coach, what I will also tell you is what is it that makes you uncomfortable to be in front of the camera? Everyone is shy when they start. I was. Everyone is. You see my videos from 2019 on YouTube. Ah, like I don't want to see them. But they're part of the growth journey. So the trigger might teach you something. The trigger is always a teacher about what is it that makes you scared, makes you shy. Uh, yeah, Juhi, that's a great question. So re uh, maybe if you're joining me late, watch the replay because I answered this for someone else. Um, I think Deepak, I'm not sure about how do you approach your boss because you want to um, work from home. For you, it's still COVID gets over. For him, he said he wanted permanent. Hey, Noel, I never realized how frustrating. Yeah, it is frustrating. Focus on what you can control. I'll tell you what, do that. Stoicism. Greek, Roman stoicism, focus on what you can control. You can't control that aspect. Yes, it's frustrating if you focus on those things. They haven't got back to me. You know, I'm I'm perfect, but they, I have been through it and I have had my share of bitterness. That mindset shift will change a lot. Maybe you can help someone, which sounds ridiculous. You're like, hey, I need help. Why will I help them? Just do it. A lot of different things. Watch a video which I did um, where I talk about losing my job, um, which was not my choice but I lost my job. What are um, a few steps that helped? I think they'll help you as well. Good luck with that. You're welcome, Culture Love. I'm happy to see that. Hey there. So how do you manage an interview when I don't... Yeah, I got that already. Don't repeat, guys. I've said it many times. I'm going to have to put you on timeout like I'm your mom or something. <laughs> um, because, you know, the comments get flooded. It's already 30 minutes past. So I'm just going to see a couple more and then I'm going to have to leave. Good morning, Kevin. Abhishek. Uh, yeah, that's a great question, Abhishek. Watch my video on what to ask your interviewer. I have given 10 examples. 10. 10. Like literally, you can't get easier than that. Everything is free. Everything is there. Um, it's going to help you. Hey there. Uh, job, salary negotiation, great opportunity. Fantastic. Congratulations, Mohan. I'm very happy for you. Um, let's see what else. No offers to five offers. Mohan, this is amazing. Maybe I can ask you for something because I listen, guys, this is a great example. Let's say your boss says something and you've done something amazing. What do you do? You say, thank you. I'm so happy. Yes, you do that. And you also ask for testimonial or review or something. If you have a business or something, ask. So Mohan, if you can give me a testimonial on LinkedIn, that'll be great because I'm very happy that it helped. And this also helps me to be discovered by more people. Um, so if your boss, this is a parallel example. Let's say your boss is in a great mood. Ask him to put him or her to put it in writing. And I don't remember who was watching. Juhi, I can't remember. Put it in your appreciation station. You see, I practice what I preach. <laughs> Hey, Hitesh, I've just resigned with a notice period of 45 days. It's been 10 days. Follow up, please. That's very weird. I'm so sorry that's happened to you. You need to follow up. All right. Fantastic. So do check out my YouTube video from yesterday, which is all about how to get a job fast, because there I talk in detail about what do you want? Crystal clarity. I talk about who do you know and mapping out your network in the right companies that you want to work in. Apply to companies, but don't apply like spray and pray. Um, and don't brag about it. I've applied to 500 positions. I don't, I don't know. People who do that, I think they're aimless. They're going everywhere. Uh, and it's not always a numbers game. Stay in touch with the right people. Don't only, re don't only reach out when you need something. And of course, be a magnet. So appreciate you joining me today. And did I miss anything? Oh, okay. <laughs> I did a whole summary thinking the questions were over. Um, they're clearly not. So just one second. Let me see. No, I understand that. Lalit. Rewatch the replay. I talked about confidence and practice and, and how you can do that. Um, if your experience is matching, but the company mentioned some criteria. Really? Grades? Ah, uh, yeah. 
maybe for the right in the beginning i i don't know after 2 3 years the grades shouldn't matter in the first 2 year, 3 years i guess it matters so you have to focus on you have to see what they want ask for the breakup of cdc just ask pratyush not that complicated just ask how can i keep a balanced work life uh yeah firstly there is no such thing as work life balance i just think that's a myth that doesn't exist so uh have a chat with your boss um it's not an easy conversation uh but see if there's some stuff you can do from home where you don't physically have to be in the office and also negotiate a little bit on you know timelines because everything is urgent in some companies and that's a culture problem right um fantastic thank you uh is there any rule for hr to not pass no there isn't it's not nice if they can they should share uh, if they don't there's two possibilities either they don't care or they've got too much volume and they can't give individual feedback to many but it's still worth asking um all right fantastic um i resigned and served my one month notice you have to follow up with them please i can't say anything else you just have to chase them just chase them uh and that will help you um i'm sorry that it's happened to you that's really almost harassment i th i think to some extent hey danish watch my interview playlist on my youtube channel tons of stuff in there last two questions and then i think we're done for now everything is negotiable uh, negotiable pranit not just um at the start where people think we negotiate salaries we don't think exits are negotiable but they are if it works out great at least you need to ask right what's the worst they'll say they'll say no how do you deal with negative reviews um that's terrible i'm so sorry if they give you negative reviews um you need to see who's doing that um what is the problem if you can find out that's great but if you you can't leave, you you can't de you can't do much with it just leave it when you give references make sure you give the right people who have glowing testimonials lovely things to say about you not those miserable people good morning jeff in ohio how are you uh yes yes lots of resume tips you'll find a bunch of them online go to this website called jobscan.co um j o b s c a n c o i think that's what it is either it's c o or it's com and you'll have lots of tips in there as well uh which does keyboard keyword um matching as well you don't have to put things in caps lock vijay because it looks like you're screaming <laughs> do you suggest to show an offer to one offer to negotiate if you want to you don't have to it's up to you all right fantastic thank you so much guys for being here and if you are um happily employed and um are happy i'm happy for you but at the same time you know if you know someone who needs help have them reach out to me um on my site superchargeyourself.com/group like i said i have two spots open for monday and i really really want to work with the right type of people who are friendly who are coachable who are deep in the middle of a career transition and need help so uh if you know someone who needs help then have them check this out take care of yourself and wish you the best and next week i have um a guest coming who is called mike pagan and we're going to talk about something called mental wealth he's got a whole book on it and he talks about the approach to networking not networking per se because i've talked about networking so many times so if you can definitely join me in uh, one week's time take care and have a good friday and weekend and uh, happy ganesh chaturthi to all my friends from india bye for now <laughs>